news to bother him. Sure that Ellison you know, only sees him once a year and doesn't have his moves down. Greg Miner in the lane ties the game at two. Ball goes to Ellison now gets it back. David trying to take the dice off the dribble has to kick it out. Miner the elbow jumper and it goes back from the defensive end. Greg Miner. It's minor six and McDice four. Fox on him defensively now. Wesley is on stiff. Over the top, tipped away by Miner. Loose underneath. Ellis, two fakes. Blocked by Ellis and saved by Miner. Here comes David on the break. Strong move with the dribble. The dish. Fox. Double McDice. Double off somebody else. I see. Okay. There's McDice. Oh, he got it rejected by him. Lost to just one of six here. Nearly five minutes gone in the second quarter. Greg Miner back in and buries. Greg Miner has been the offense so far for Boston. There he goes to the hoop. Nice look. Greg trying to work on Dale Ellis. Takes him in, spins, goes the other way. Left hand, gets his own rebound. Bunch of fakes. Got two. Boy, the blue sky wasn't much there tonight. Except for him. Tom oh, I mean, yeah, uh, you're right. Greg Miner will be at the line for two off that foul on Dale Ellis. Greg continues to pile up the points. He's got 14 first half points. David Wesley, the dish. Fox sets his feet. Miner comes up with the offensive rebound. Fox, same spot, thought better of it this time. Greg Miner, and the foul is going to be on Lafonso Ellis. Lafonso Ellis also goes down. His nuggets all over the place here. Here's Fox over McDice for Boston. And. Rose, Dale Ellis, LaFonzo Ellis, Dikembe Mutombo, and Brian Stiff for the Nuggets. It's a four-point game, 57-53. Nuggets the lead. The Celts the ball. Greg Miner, it continues to have Stiff. Stiff into the paint, gets the bump. Doesn't get the bucket. Rebound to Greg Miner. Celts with the numbers. Yep, and Celts can tie the game. Purvis save! Defenders, and you should come up with a layup or an attempt at a layup. When you have the numbers advantage of four on three. All right, we have begun the fourth. The Celtics have D. Brown, Greg Miner, David Wesley, Purvis Ellison, Junior Burrow on the floor. And Greg Miner continues to bury jump shots. Burrow has to give it up. Greg Miner, there it is. We'll have four tenths. That's plenty of time enough to get a, a shot going. But uh, if they're going to do it with six men on the court, we're going to we're not going to get a chance. And Fox throwing it up for Miner off the glass. Great. Some consolation. 4.4 seconds before, now walks off and says, "Wow!" And 0.4, the clock does not get turned on until it's in the player's hands. So let's see actually what happened. It went off the backboard and the rim. With the clock, let's see when it gets turned on. Miner up on the touch, plenty of time, and it that's absolutely a great yeah. play because what, what a great play by Miner Tom, and that when he sees it's gonna hit the glass, he positions himself. Yep. Oh wow. 
So not only did he have a great jump shooting night, he has the game saver. A terrific ending to a very entertaining night here at the Fleet Center. 99-98, Celtics beat the Nuggets. Just how well that play was diagrammed. Let's look at it one more time. If it was diagrammed the way it came off, it was a brilliant play because Rick Fox throws it off the glass. And watch Greg Miner. He sees it's going to hit the glass and then moves back out, and the ball comes right to him. Well, it was really supposed to be an alley-oop play, and uh, it was an errant pass, but, boy, it sure worked. Plenty of time. There was two-tenths of a second still a go right. uh, before the, he released, uh, you know, and yeah. the ball was in the air already. Yeah, it was so critical. great. I mean, he just touched it, up it went. And they win. Our Budweiser player of the game has to be Greg Miner, not only because of that last shot, but because he had a season-high 24. You watch this now. That's an alley-oop play, and off the, you, you are exactly right. He just pinned Matumbo in there, thinking it was going to be an alley-oop, and when he saw it was coming off the glass, he went out and got it off the rim. ML Carr, boy, you know he's got to be elated about the Celtics' 99-98 win tonight here at the Fleet Center. Let's take a quick peek at the Hoover play of the game. And it happened right here. It's the final play of the game. Rick Fox with the inbound pass off the glass. Miner up at the buzzer. Score it. Celtics win 99-98. That's your Hoover. Play of the game. Welcome back to Sports Channel Game Time. Yeah, that's a that's not a rugby scrum down there. That's a Celtics win. Greg Miner hit the game-winning shot as the Celtics knock off the Nuggets tonight, 99-98. Boy, we were having a good time here at the old Fleet Center. I'm Willie May. Thanks for hanging in with us tonight.